Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Keynote to create animated graphics for your iMovie. To start out with, you need two things open. You need your iMovie that you will be importing your graphic in, and you need Keynote. Let's go ahead and first start out in iMovie. Um, when you're working in iMovie, before you create your graphic, it's good to have an idea of what, what part you're going to want to put your graphic in. I like to take a screenshot um, of mine and drop it into the slide before I start creating my graphic because it really gives me an accurate idea of where I should place it or how big it should be, color, etc. So I do have my little puggy video and I took a screenshot of this one right here. You can do just Command Shift 4 and take a selection of it um, and go ahead and save it. So. Take our screenshot and let's go ahead and go into Keynote. So once I open up Keynote, you have two options. You can use standard or you can use wide. That's what, what you get. Because we watch television in widescreen, it is 2015, not 1995. You have to make sure that your template is wide. Um, and I would just ignore all of these really beautiful templates and just stick with white. So we're gonna go ahead and hit choose and it will create it. I like to do two things. I zoom out. And I also change my master to blank. That will just give me a very blank slate to work on. And finally, the most important thing that you need to do is change your color to green. That's how we're gonna work around um, the lack of animated graphics in iMovie. So once you have this here, this is what's going to be um, your place where you're gonna create your graphics. I usually recommend to s making one graphic on one slide, but if you want to have several to not overwhelm it, to, or to, to show up, um, that's fine. I just would suggest not to really overwhelm what's on the screen. So remember when I took that screenshot of the little puggy, now I'm going to drop it in here. So hopefully it'll come up, or maybe not. So let me go ahead and take another one here. Really simple. There he is, go back and let's have him in there. So obviously it looks small now, but what I'm going to do is expand it to be my entire size there. So now I know I have some space here. He will be running through those. So maybe right up here is where I'd want to put a fun graphic. And now you can get with it. So some places I would recommend um, to find some cool graphics that you can use are Icon Monster and the Noun Project. They have some great downloadable um, icons and fun different shapes that I know on Icon Monster um, you can customize and the Noun Project for a small fee you can also change them. But I'm just going to go ahead and use shapes. Um, I think a really cute one would be like a little word bubble coming up saying, oh adopt me. So I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of wide, large, and then bring down a little something there. Um, there are tons of things that you can do with shapes in Keynote. You can get so creative. I know um, my students love to do stuff. And it really just helps you have some freedom because iMovie does not have a lot of things to choose from in order for popping up graphics and whatnot. So here I'm gonna change my color, kind of like this bright red, really pop. And you can also add text. So I'm gonna go ahead. I usually like to make my text pretty large, obviously. Um, and get a good one here. So I'm just gonna type, adopt me. All right, so like I said, maybe that's a little bit too big. I can make this smaller, move this around. All right, let's make that pop up there. So now here comes the fun part where you get to animate it. So I would go to animate right up here. And the first thing you do have to do is build an effect. There are so many effects that you can do in Keynote. Um, my students really get into these like shimmer and light bulbs and flash. If that's what you're into, that's great. I just always make sure to tell my students, whatever you use has a purpose and you want to create a certain kind of um, emotion or impact. Obviously trace would not really work with one, so maybe just I'm going to do a simple swoosh because the dog is kind of running in. Ooh, that was intense. Um, so that could be a fun one. Now, as you can see, the timing is really, really slow. So you can adjust that with duration and direction. I want this to come in pretty quickly. Um, and also, you can decide where it comes in from. It can be completely random, which is great, um, and preview it. And once you have something built in, you also want it to build out. Usually um, it might add it in on its own when you export it, but if you wanted to have a nice build out that was a little bit different, 
you can go ahead and add that in. Um, you can add actions, you could add multiple things to animations to your graphic, but you never really wanna get too crazy. For example, if you wanted to add an action here, if I wanted this to blink, or if I wanted it to jiggle, that might be kind of fun. Let's see how much it would look. All right, so that's not quite looking so well, so I think I might have to take that out, change that out. If there is something you don't like about your animation, you can go where it says build order, and that's where you can switch it. So I can delete that. I can make the build out come before the build in, which we really wouldn't want to do that. Um, a lot of my students also ask me, oh, does everything have to happen after the transition? It doesn't really matter because it's all going to be added in once you export it as a video. So I have my build in and build out. I'm ready to export and import into iMovie. This is really important that you do this. Delete your picture that's in your background because if you leave it in there, it won't have the green screen effect. Then I would go to File, Export to QuickTime. That is something you must do. It's not going to uh, drop into iMovie if it's just a keynote. And then here, I usually just make these go to one because it's going to be self-playing, works great, and it's going to hit next. It's going to ask me to save it, so I'm going to call it Graphic 2 because I made one already. And then it's going to create our movie. Once you have it set, now you get to go back into iMovie. I'm going to import this. It takes two seconds. Go into my desktop. There it is. And we'll get it at the bottom, and now we'll be able to see it. So it's a lot of fun. And as you can see, it's a lot longer than what I thought it was going to be. Um, but you can just select the parts that you want. Remember that build in and build out happened. And let's place it up top here right where I think my picture was. So obviously right now it's a cutaway, um, but up here there is a button that you can press to make this very important toolbar show up. So if you don't see it, just know that you can press this button that says video overlay settings and it will open up the option to do a green screen. And then there you go. Um, you can have fun with it, it can test it out. Oh, adorable. Um, and you can add different things. Now remember, once this is in the green screen, you can move it around. In iMovie, you cannot add a green screen on top of a green screen, so it's really only two timelines here. I hope that this helps you out um, in adding more life and different impacts to your iMovie video. I know my students have really enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. Good luck.